What's up guys, Dave Monte. Beautiful, beautiful late fall day. It's about 65 degrees. Salud. Another quick advanced technique for Monteros out there seeking to improve your Monte circles, to hone your skills of making Monte, everything Monte. Uh, about two weeks ago we already covered Bombisha hemisphere switching. When you take the Bombisha, you switch it to the other hemisphere to utilize the the other reserves or the mountain of mate to prolong the cycle of the mate. Then about a week ago I spoke about um, flooding the mate where you essentially indiscriminately uh, flood the mate, pour water over everything over the entire mountain as opposed to doing a hemisphere switch. Now today we're going to complete the circle and we're going to talk about unplugging the mate which means plugging, unplugging the, the bombisha directly outside of the gourd I'll tell you why, I'll tell you what it's good for in a second. Also, I just want to show my appreciation to all of you guys. I love you guys. You guys are great. Thank you for getting your mate from Circle of Drink. Thank you for getting your mate education from Circle of Drink. Thank you for asking questions. You know, shout out to Stefan, shout out to Bert, shout out to Mateo. Uh, everyone out there, Frank, Joe, uh, Sarah, everybody who's just representing, uh, showing their love for this magical drink, Yerba Mate. Uh, shout out to uh, uh, to Matt and to his family over in uh, San Diego. Uh, shout out to my friends over in Buenos Aires, Vina, uh, uh, Patrick, uh, Damien, everybody, man. There's just so many people. Bruno in Brazil, uh, my friends over in Paraguay. Let's just keep this going. Today we're going to cover uh, unplugging the mate, and we'll get into it. Peace. All right, so unplugging the mate. What does that mean? So you have your bombisha right here. You have your mountain of mate. Now, as the matero, you're constantly going to keep this water hole clear and clean. This is your water hole. You want to use this technique of moving this bombisha back and forth to clear the water hole. But every once in a while, it's great to unplug the mate, which means that you literally unplug the bombisha. Here you go. You have your bombisha from the entire gourd. Then what you do is you reinsert it, scooping away all that mate that got stuck up against this wall, scooping it away and pushing it towards the mountain of mate. This essentially uh, is helping to preserve your mountain of mate. It's helping to get rid of all that sherba that got stuck on the side over here, which is not good. You want your water hole clean. And it's getting rid of all those cold spots of uh, sherba of mate that's in there. Remember, this is an ecosystem in there. It's a world that you have to take care of. You are the master controller of this world as the sabedor, the server. And uh, you have to know what you're doing. Remember, this is for materos, for people who are serving mate. So, take it out. Uh, make sure everything slurped away first. Then put it back in, scooping everything and pushing it forward. And then what you do is you just get your water. You refill it, the water hole, nice and clean like this. You know, no rush. Just let the water just percolate in. There you go, you got a nice clear water hole. The water's gonna be a little hotter this time because you cleared the water hole by unplugging the mate. So warn the next person who's gonna drink it that it's gonna be a little hotter. Go ahead, take your slurp. Wow, that's good mate today. Mm-hmm, excellent. There you go guys, this is Dave Mate. This is on a video on how to unplug the mate. Uh, keep on checking us out at circleofdrink.com. Please subscribe to our Facebook page, circle, uh, I'm sorry, facebook.com slash circleofdrink.com. The video is going to keep on coming. The education is going to keep on coming. This is Mate Life. Love you guys. Peace.